you know, you're one of the founding members of the Stooges. Like influences galore. Everyone talks about the Stooges. You look at even the Stooges. Yeah. All right. Now uh, maybe you can talk about how you guys got started. That's a pretty interesting story. What's the story of the Stooges? such a great band and had such a huge influence. It is my honor to induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Stooges. The Stooges. The Stooges. Iggy Pop of the Stooges. Stooges! Everyone ripped off Iggy and the Stooges. I mean, they, they started everything. You weren't meant to come out of a Stooges show undamaged. And I don't mean just unchanged. You weren't meant to come out with your preconceptions intact. You were meant to come out with your preconceptions in fucking rubble. Incomparable frontman and legendary thrash master Iggy Pop has become universally worshipped as the mastermind and architect of the Stooges, a band that detonated the sonic landscape of the late 60s, inadvertently providing the blueprint for punk, hardcore, heavy metal, and grunge. Poised in the shadow of his singer was one of the most creative, influential geniuses of music history. He was the heart and sonic force of the Stooges, yet his name remains virtually unrecognized. Iggy Pop was the show, and is the show. He's a great performer. The music behind Iggy Pop, that's Ron Astor. Iggy made like all these great records that I love, but, but like Iggy and, and Ron together, it's just, it's, 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 it's Miles and Coltrane. You know? Ron wrote the first two Stooges. I mean, those Stooges songs on those first two records, I mean, those are his riffs. Those are two of the most important documents in like you know, 20th century rock and roll. Yeah, the sound of those first two records, there's just nothing like it. So Ron, because he didn't like move to LA or move to New York when he left the Stooges, was like kind of like forgotten and, and underappreciated. Well, underappreciated. You know? And I finally came back here to stay in 1977. Right? I don't think it was that unique for Ronnie, you know, to live at his mother's house. Are you Ron's mom? Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't hear everything. But... Get her on video, get her right here. Can I get you on the video? No, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> the joke was throughout the 70s that, that Ron and Scott were living in their mother's basement waiting for Iggy to give them that phone call and say, hey, let's start the band again. And there was that feeling of like, oh shit, he's sitting here in Detroit and the guy deserves to be like on top of the world. He wanted to go into acting and I, I thought it was a waste of time, but he loved it. He knew he was an Academy Award style actor. I said, Ronnie, but you're like one of a million people that are these actors, whereas guitarist, you're one of ten in the world. You know? Ronnie was different. Ronnie was different from everyone. You don't have a family? No. Cats. Raccoon. I have six cats. I got pet raccoon. I got a, 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 he comes every night. And my possum since they were babies. And my skunk since he was a baby. <laughs> How come it took so damn long for you to reunite? It's been 31 years. The Stooges reformed in 2003 and toured the world for the next five years. On guitar. The number one ranked undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Ron Ashton! Yeah! Ron Ashton got his second act. Ron Ashton will always be seen as one of the master architects of rock and roll guitar playing. Ron Ashton was the Stooges. Some sad news now is the Stooges guitarist Ron Ashton has died. O guitarrista Ron Ashton da banda Stooges foi encontrado morto em casa na cidade de Ann Arbor, em Michigan. We're talking with Iggy Pop of the Stooges about the passing of his dear friend Ron Ashton. You know, it got his funny. Uh, as long as I don't think about it right now, I'm okay. And then when I think about it, I'm not that okay. Have you ever felt kind of bitter about the fact that your guitar, your music, and this your style of playing has been so bi widely copied, but not getting credit for it? You no, know, it was always like I'd always go, "Yeah, dude, you guys, thanks a lot. You're making money, and I'm broke." A musician who some critics claim couldn't even play his own instrument became one of the most influential guitar innovators in the Western world. All right.
What Ron does with his amp is more important than what most guitar players do with their guitar. It's the story of the Stooges, the story of Ron Ashton.